One, two, three, clickbait pose. <laughs> we got one in there. Hey, Violet here, and today I have Mumpo, aka Mooks. 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 <laughs> you always get that wrong. <laughs> and today we're gonna be re reacting to Nicki Minaj's brother being found guilty of pretty much rape of a minor. But we're gonna watch a complex news YouTube video talking about what he did, what he got charged for, and how many years in jail, like, etc. So let's just. Hey guys. Hey guys, Beja here for Complex. Nicki Minaj's brother Jelani Miraj has been found guilty of predatory sexual assault on a child and endangering the welfare of a child at Nassau County Court. Miraj, who is 38 years old, was initially arrested in connection with the case back in December of 2015 and released on bail shortly after with the help of his sister Nicki Minaj. Mirage repeatedly raped his former stepdaughter. She was 11 years old at the time. The incident took place in 2015 at Mirage's Long Island home. DNA evidence found semen on the girl's pajama pants that had been linked to Mirage. Jurors delivered the guilty verdict on the second day of deliberations. Mirage could get anywhere from 25 years to life in prison. Sentencing will take place on December 14th. Mirage was led away in handcuffs following the verdict and is being held in Nassau County Jail until his sentencing. He reportedly showed no emotions as the verdict came down. Mirage's lawyer has said they will appeal. Mirage's defense has claimed that the allegations against him were orchestrated by the girl's mother, who coached her daughter to say she was assaulted to extort $25 million from Nicki Minaj as hush money. Okay. The mother of the girl and former wife of Mirage denied the accusations. The girl who was assaulted by Mirage, who is now 14 years old, went into the horrifying detail of what her former stepfather did to her. In her chilling testimony, the girl recalled that the assaults began in April of 2015. She recounted how she was raped multiple times by Mirage, who told her it was her fault because she was sending him signals. He also threatened that the girl would be separated from her mother if she said anything. On one occasion, the girl's then 8-year-old brother walked in on his sister being assaulted. The boy, who is now 10, testified that Mirage told him to not reveal what he saw or he would be taken away from his mother. During the trial, Mirage's lawyer said that Nicki Minaj would take the stand to discuss the alleged extortion. It never happened. If you or someone you know has been affected by sexual assault, call 800-656-HOPE for confidential help 24-7. That's all the news for now, but for all the latest news on Nicki Minaj, be sure to subscribe to Complex on YouTube today. For Complex News, I'm Beja Belez. Okay. Mm. Okay. What do you think? Mm. Like, okay, first of all, can we just... It's crazy how such a huge celebrity's brother is like in the middle of all this. How do you feel about Nicki Minaj paying for his um, bail? I feel like it goes hand in hand with the fact that they believe that his ex-wife mm -hmm. is trying to extort her. So I feel like initially she posts bail for him because they believe that they were trying to extort her. God forbid, that's just, God forbid this whole conversation all together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If that was like a family member of yours, do you think you'll bail them or like help them pay back their lawyer fees and stuff? Like, I you... personally feel like most people would. Most people would, right? I feel like in honesty, but then in all what honesty, would you do I feel like after I the fact, after the conviction, are you still going to like? I feel like cover it's fees? so. Are you gonna go visit that family member? Another thing is like I found it interesting that they said that after he received his sentence, mm -hmm. there was no emotion. And I feel like if you committed something, then that means you pretty much already knew the outcome of what was going to happen. But hypothetically, if he was to come out, would you still support that family member after? Oh man, such a hard question! Because like, I would love to say no, right? But then that's your family. Like, I don't know, it's such a messed up thing they did though. Would I even believe he did it? That's the thing. Human nature is to protect what's yours. Yeah! I think it's unfair how Nick and I just like, get in dragged down about it. I understand, yeah, she paid his lawyer fill, uh, fees and I don't, bail. I feel like But in her head, she's not thinking he did it. But I feel like people shouldn't be upset at her for paying her brother's lawyer fees. That's what yeah. She can only so, go off of what he, he tells, tells her. her. And but imagine you're, like now, imagine your freaking sibling that you trust everything in, like everyone else is saying this about them, but they're telling you like genuinely like, oh, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Who are you gonna choose to believe? It's gonna be so, everything that you go for will make you wanna believe them because it just sounds better in your head to believe that they didn't do that. You know what I mean? The fact that his DNA was on her pajamas, after that, I don't know. Oh, that is, yeah. I See, it's a wrap. I totally yeah. forgot about that fact. That is true. 
after that, I I wouldn't be able I to totally pay. I totally forgot about that. I wouldn't be able to pay the fees because I feel it's it's all about like mm. your personal conviction. Mm -hmm. And if initially you come to me and you say this like this is what's going on, you know, blah yeah. blah blah, and they lay it out on the table, and in your heart you're like. I know my brother, I don't think he's capable of this, and then you're saying I'm going to support him through this. But then with all the information and all the evidence after that, like, I would feel, con like, I wouldn't be able to support you after that. Yeah, and it's kind of like, you're paying for lawyers that are going against a woman that her child was yeah. freaking raped I wouldn't times, be able, I wouldn't and you're going against myself. her, and you're trying to get the guy that messed up her child back on the street. The other question I have is if mm -hmm. his ex-wife's plan was always to extort Nicki Minaj, I don't think you're gonna find that out when she decides to press charges on you for raping her daughter. If she was planning to extort you, you would have known that previously. And then you yeah. should have proof of her trying to extort you yeah. in the past. Like, you can't use this case necessarily like to claim your innocence. Especially if you are married to that person, you should have proof. Because yeah, you should. you're around them. There should be evidence of you trying to extort them. Okay, last but not least, do you believe that he did it? I, I believe that he did. I believe it too. I, I mean, <laughs> like, the fact that his DNA was found on her clothing and the fact that two young kids can actually testify, take, against, testify against what they saw and what happened yeah. is crazy. Okay, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think he's guilty? Do you not think he's guilty? Do you agree with the 25 years to life? What do you think? What do you think? Let us know all Let this. us know your thoughts yeah. down below. Yes, and give this video a thumbs up for And more. what you would do in this situation. Yeah, if you're in a Minaj, what would you do? Yeah. Wanna know? Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you here next time. Say bye, Mumble. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>